Mississippi and Texas. Arch Manning got this start with Quinn Ewers still recovering from an injury. Arch so, me. second quarter. Arch Manning says, who do you think you are? <laughs> I am the new starter. It's DeAndre Moore. He gets in for six. Texas scores up 14-6. And Arch was fired up. Third quarter, Arch takes off. When you dip, I dip, we dip. He don't need no more help. Wow. Is that in? Did he get in? No. He was just short. But later, he would sneak the ball in. Fourth quarter, Texas looking for a dagger. Arch fires this one into the end zone and finds, give me some more. For his second touchdown of the day, four catches, 103 yards, and two touchdowns for more. Texas wins it 35-13. Mm. But don't get it twisted, y'all. This thing was closer than we may have realized. SEC play began for Texas today. So, Matt, what is your evaluation of Texas as they started SEC play without their starting quarterback, Quinn Ewers? Yeah, I think overall Texas, right? Good win, first SEC opponent. Hey, good showing. Halfway through the game, though, what was I saying to you guys? Hey, SEC, <laughs> it's not so easy, is yeah. it, Texas? Welcome to the yeah, SEC. Yeah, life is hard down here in this league, and it really doesn't matter if it's a Mississippi State team who you saw on film get absolutely just destroyed mm. by a Florida team the week before that. Yep. Every week in this league, it's competitive, it's tough, and it took everything that Texas had today to really yep. put it together and to finally kind of you know establish that they were the more dominant football team. Arch played well. Yeah. He's really, I think, progressed tremendously in just three weeks. He, he seems to be processing even faster than he did just a week ago. Yep. And not only that, I think Sarkeesian, the skill group, uh, you know, Jake Majors, the center, the leadership on this football team is for real and legit and battle tested. And I think all those things help Arch play great football. Yeah, when you look at it last week, Arch had a 51.7 completion percentage. Yeah. And that was one of the things that I looked at from his performance where I said, I would just like a little bit more efficiency. But then when you look at it today, what was his completion percentage? 84%, 26 for 31, 324 yards, two touchdowns, no picks. Had one drop, too, for a, a big touchdown or a post mm -hmm. route that he threw that was exactly. dropped. That would have been another big one that probably would have changed the way they felt. You know, Mississippi State, too. What are you doing playing man coverage right before halftime yeah. with yeah. 28 seconds yeah. left against the skill group? That was crazy. All right, but hey, I digress. But overall, right, Sarkeesian doing a great job of preparing his quarterback and building around him. The other thing that Arch does a little bit better than Quinn the movement, the ability to extend plays with his legs, yeah, right? He's, he's faster, a better runner. Better athlete, and yeah. we've seen that now three or four times. So uh, the growth from this young man has been tremendous. Yeah, and, and, and his supporting cast is helping him. And one thing uh, his head coach Sark said was from last week, he was kicking himself a little bit because yeah. he wished he threw a little bit more freebie completions for him just so he could uh, get his confidence up, get that completion percentage up, be a little bit more efficient. But we, we saw that this oh. week. And then check it out. A little swagger from Archie. The whole team, everyone was out there having fun. And you love to see that. I mean, I, I don't see his uncles hitting the hey, hey. No, 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 no. I, I, I see Archie having maybe, a little maybe more Coop, fire. Maybe Coop's got like a little swag. He's got a little, you know? yeah, yeah, he's got, he got like, a little more swag. I, I find it funny like thinking of Archie like in his dorm room practicing that in the mirror, yeah. you know? Yeah. <laughs> I, I'll take a big picture here about this whole Texas thing. It's funny, when you go back three years ago to when it was announced, Texas and Oklahoma joining the SEC, yeah. and to think that Texas was going to be, at that time, competitive in their right. first year, never mind a front runner to win the conference, I don't think anybody would have thought that outside of Austin, Texas. Mm -hmm. But yet here we are in this 2024 season, and here they are. Sark has built this program yes. to be a perennial powerhouse in the SEC in three years. So, yes, the new era of college football, getting those five different receivers in uh, after losing the five skill position players last year is a huge help. The one question I do want to ask real quick is, if Texas is going to win a national championship this year, right. does Quinn Ewers need to be the starting quarterback of the team, Matty? I think that Quinn Ewers absolutely gives them the best opportunity to win the national championship. And it's really, it's simple. He just has that much more experience. Yeah. He's yeah. played more football. He's been in more big-time situations. This was Arch's first introduction into, you know, real, like, competitive competition and division yep. play right and, and no disrespect to the other teams that he played but like mississippi state you know they got they got some more ballers on that team and you know hey he struggled a little bit to just like kind of build into a rhythm offensively yep. early on in the football game and that really wasn't a slight on him it was just the fact that like the competition got better but as we continue to go deeper into the schedule here you know yeah quinn Ewers 
having that experience, seeing the field more, understanding right what this team does, I think that really benefits Texas in the long run. And you see the, the schedule right there. You know, for Quinn Ewers, too, to come back. Yeah, can you guys see that? So well, the small print. So, so, Oklahoma, <laughs> so Texas has the bye week right now. Yes, they and come up Sark, with a bye. Sark said he was really impressed with what he saw with Quinn Ewers' recovery. So you get the bye week, and then you play the Sooners. You got that Brett Venables defense that you're going to have to face. That's one of the best defenses in the country when it comes down to turning over the ball. So Quinn yeah. Ewers, welcome back, yeah. buddy, because yeah. now the next game that you're playing no is doubt. against the Oklahoma Sooners, a team which we can say they're a little bit more used to. Right, because this isn't the, exactly an SEC matchup. It's, it's a rivalry, no yeah. matter what. Yeah. So that's a totally different game unto itself, right? The Red Rivalry Shootout, and then also, you know, Venables, you know, that dude, he can coach some defense too. Yeah. So that's not exactly the the nicest way to welcome back yeah. in your quarterback who's been out for four weeks.